Today I'm going to turn this piece of plywood into a super portable router table. Just so we're all on the same page, this isn't meant to be an amazing do-it-all router table. There's no cabinet, there's no dust collection. This is simply meant to be a functional, minimalistic router table that, especially when used with a cordless router, can be used and stored virtually anywhere. Also, I'm making this table to fit my specific router. So if you have a different router and you want to make something like it, just adjust where necessary based on what you see me do in the video. Now I'm making this router table out of a piece of 12 millimeter Baltic birch plywood that's 16 inches by 20 inches. I decided I wanted to mount the router right in the center of the table, so I make crosshairs at 10 inches and 8 inches, and use those crosshairs to drill a hole for the router bit opening with a 1 and 3 quarter inch Forstner bit. This will leave a hole big enough to clear the largest of the bits that I plan on using this setup for. Now that I have the center hole established, I'll take the subbase off the router to use as a template. I'll line up the center circle of the subbase with the hole that I just drilled in the tabletop, square it up, and use a quarter inch Forstner bit to make a small dimple in the center of each mounting hole. You might be able to use a self-centering punch here as well, I just don't happen to have one. Now the mounting holes need to be counterboard so that the screw heads will be recessed into the tabletop. I'll start with the wider of the holes first using a 3 8 inch Forstner bit. The Forstner bit will leave a little dimple in the bottom of the hole, which I can use to locate where to drill the quarter inch through holes. Once the router bit and mounting holes are drilled, I can move on to the fence. For this, I glued a couple of pieces of plywood together and trimmed them up to make a one inch thick, two and a quarter inch wide piece that's as long as the table is wide. I clamped the table to a work surface to get an idea for where I wanted the fence to be placed on the table. Four inches from the back edge seemed like a good location, as this would give me plenty of space to clamp the table to a work surface without hanging too far off the edge of the table. I marked the right side of the fence where I wanted the adjustment knob to be set, then using double side tape to temporarily hold the fence to the table, I head back to the drill press. Here I'll drill a 5 16 inch hole for the adjustment knob all the way through the fence and just barely into the table, then I can remove the fence and drill a 3 8 inch hole the rest of the way through the tabletop. The 3 8 inch hole is for this threaded insert. I use a bit of candle wax as lube to thread it into the tabletop from the bottom side. The last step is to drill a relief in the fence for wider router bits and for debris. I put the Forstner bit that I used for the tabletop back in the hole through the bottom of the table, then pivot the fence closer to it until it touches the point of the Forstner bit, and then I make a pencil mark where the point contacts the fence. Then I can install the Forstner bit back in the drill press, line up the mark and the edge of the fence with the point of the Forstner bit, clamp it all down, and drill a half circle straight through. After some sanding to clean everything up and break the edges, this portable router table is as good as done.